Hi there and welcome to the session on installing AutoGPT on a Docker host. A quick overview about AutoGPT, it's an open source software backed by ChatGPT4 and basically what it does is you just ask for a goal. Let's say I want a pizza order bot to be developed. It's going to build all the prompts by itself to reach that goal. So essentially at end of the prompt is complete, you'll have the pizza order bot for example. So who developed this auto GPT is basically a software developer by name significant gravitas. Uh, it has a GitHub repository, which you are going to use as well. And it's based on the open AI's latest and the most advanced model, which is GPT-4. So that's pretty exciting to get started with auto GPT on Docker. So all you need is I'm going to use an Ubuntu Linux and this VM can be on Amazon cloud, Azure cloud, Google cloud, or a virtual machine on your laptop as well. In case you are running it on Mac OS, you need to install Python 3, Python 3 PIP, which is package manager, Git client and Docker. And you can also do this same exact demo, which I am doing right now. The difference is I'm installing these tools on the APT Debian Linux, which is Ubuntu. So to get started, I have a virtual machine on the Azure cloud here, and I'm going to pick up this connection string. SSH followed by Ubuntu at the rate IP address. Let's go ahead and provide your password. Your screen, sudo su for root. And then go ahead and update your OS repository and install the Python 3 because AutoGPT is backed by Python 3. So we got the Python 3 PIP, which is allows you to install Python packages, Git client to download the Git repository, and docker.io to install the latest Docker. So let's go ahead and paste this. To save time, I've already done this installation, but pretty much it should work for you as well. And now we're going to download the repository. So the URL is github.com slash significant gravitas slash auto hyphen gpt dot git. Let's clear the scene. So cd into auto gpt and this will have a directory structure which I would like to show you. So we got the auto gpt. So basically this is a space where you will see a lot of activity going on. So right now there'll be a workspace which will come up in some time for us ls minus la you will see a lot of hidden files here like one of them is the dot env dot template this is the important one which you're going to touch upon later and we got a docker file to build a docker image of the current auto gpt which we are going to build in some moment so that's about the directory structure so first thing first we need to install all the prerequisites required for us so there's a file called as requirements.txt in which all the required tools like OpenAI, which will help you to interact with OpenAI, of course, the chat GPT on the backend. Play sound, you can also use sound to interact. Click and many other tools which are required for this to function. So let's go ahead and save this file. To install the prerequisites, you just need to do a pip3 install hyphen r requirement.txt. So this is going to take uh, quite a lot of time. So I'm going to pause this video for a while and I'll be back once things are done. So that's done for us. So let's clear the screen. So next is to move this file. So essentially the hidden file, which is .env.template, I'm just going to rename it as .env here. So now we need to edit this file. So the important thing what we need to change here is the open API key. So we need to generate an API key here and then plug in those details here. For this, uh, we have to go to platform.openai.com account slash API keys. In order for this to work, please ensure if you go to billing, it should be a paid account and then come back to API keys. You have can see I have a generated one key earlier. 
So I'm going to generate a new one for this particular session now. Let's call it as auto GPT two for now. Let's copy this key. I'm going to delete this keys. Don't worry to copy them. All right. So just focus on the demo and the learning part. So let's head back to our terminal and then save and exit. So other details in this environment file, which might be of use for you guys, uh, is the memory backend. You could use a Redis memory for the current one, uh, but I do not have a Redis cluster or a Redis. You can run it as a container as well. But right now I'm going to use local, which is the default, so I don't have to change it. So let's go ahead and save and exit. Let's head back to code share. So the next thing is to go ahead and build our image. Now in order to build image, we need a Docker file. So that's already in place. So it's going to use the Python 3.10, which is the requirement for the prerequisite for AutoGPT to work. And it's going to update, install the drivers required, install curl, wget and git, which are the utilities. We'll use PIP to go ahead and install the majority of the required things. So if you notice, it's going to install all the requirements within the container. Earlier, we installed the requirements, the prerequisite, which was outside the container. And it's going to use a directory called a slash app. So this way, the entire thing will be installed. So let's go ahead and quit this file to build the image. Docker build is the command hyphen T for tag. Uh, so I'm going to give my domain name cloud. We are cloud enabled dot SG with Singapore office here. That's my website address and image hyphen V1. So that'd be the version one for the image dot denotes the current directory where the Docker file is. So this is going to take a while so I'm going to pause this video while this is happening and I'll be back once things are okay. All right so we got the docker image created let's create the screen. Let's do our docker images. So you can notice here so we got the cloud enabledsg which is a repository and this is local so you can actually give any name of your choice and that's your tag name. So it's about 1.65 GB in size. So this is going to be our image to run containers now. So All right, so let's go ahead and run the auto GPT container now. So let's head back to our code share and copy the command to run the container. So what I'm going to do is run a container with the name C1, that's container one, and mount the environment file. So that is env. And this is the volume hyphen v for the volumes to be mounted to the container back to the host. And that's my image name, what I'm going to use for running the container. So hit enter. So since I use hyphen IT, so it's going to create container and log you into it. And you can see it says welcome to auto GPT. So basically it's asking, I want auto GPT to do what? So basically it's waiting for your input guys. So he be very cautious on what you want to ask for. So the best thing in today's industry is not knowing the right answers, but knowing the right questions to ask. So that's where the hidden source of auto GPT is. So if you do a hyphen hyphen manual, so it's going to ask you uh, what you really want to do. So maybe you want to develop a order bot for pizza delivery, right? So you can actually provide the AI name and what is the basic delivery is for so this is basically deliver products across city for customers and you can provide some goals uh, basically provide the menu item of pizza and price 
equal to size of pizza and price pickup or delivery to home and anything else like you need the address details of the customer and hit enter and that should go ahead and ask you for budget maybe you want to spend about a dollar to do this so basically you can notice here so it's actually selling this is the name of the bot and what is it used for and it's going to provide some menu item size of pizza you know some type of red that's fine he's gonna manage it himself so you can see it's thinking so what's happening behind the scenes is basically it's going to come back and tell you its thought so it says i should start by providing menu items first to the customer so reasoning is providing the menu item and price will make customer make an informed decision so it's it's actually able to build its own knowledge and the plan is it's going to use a write to file module and this file module will write a file called as menu.txt so basically in this it's going to write the menu items and the prices to it then it will also create a read underscore file command to read the contents and see whether it can actually display the product details or not so there's some criticism i need to make sure that menu item and price are accurate and update so here's the action it's going to perform so that is a command write to file and this is the path which i wanted to focus on so basically when you build anything the output would go to app slash auto gpt there'll be a workspace created for you under that the file will be created so what i'm going to do is go to other terminal here of the same vm and do a docker exec hyphen it followed by c1 that's my container and bash so i'm actually in the container right now and here we got the auto gpt and auto gpt workspace and i actually don't see any additional file like many.txt here so these files are required and used by the logger for the service chat gpt here which is in other words auto gpt for us so let's go ahead and say yes so yes means we are authorizing the command it's going to write a file to this file system with the menu.txt and this is what menu items will look like so it's actually added a pizza for cheese pizza at ten dollar pepperoni pizza at 12 veggie pizza at 12 dollar again and some meat lovers will like some meat pizza so there's a 14 dollar price so let's go ahead and say why so that should allow him to write the file here so it says uh, the return file successfully so let's go back and verify here so you can see the file is created and it's built a menu for us So you can also notice it's asking for next command so basically it's saying asking their preference will help them to make a best possible service now that we have provided menu and item so we move to the next step so it's going to use the append to file command uh, to the order.txt file so basically the command and input here so this is going to keep prompting you for more questions but the objective of this particular session was to learn how to install auto gpt on docker and how to interact with the container where your output files are created so that goal is achieved i'm going to create more exciting videos on the same topics here so look forward to seeing you in the next videos thank you so much and keep making money with auto gpt bye bye for now